Students who did return today followed a marathon news conference from Knox County District Attorney General Charm Allen yesterday. We brought it to you live. Absolutely. And yeah. you know what? She took us through that timeline yeah. yesterday. We were here with you through that. The DA said she would not charge the four officers involved in the shooting. Mm -hmm. That was on April 12th, by the way. The shooting happened April 12th. The DA also shared what led up to this shooting and then video from the body cameras of all of the officers involved showing the shooting itself. You know, it was a lot to process for everyone. We are on your side walking you through that information. The DA says everything began about 1230 with a domestic incident inside the school involving Anthony Thompson Jr. At 1248, a second domestic incident is reported. Then the victim's mother called 911. And what happened? My daughter um, got into an altercation today at school with um, an ex-boyfriend. Any weapon or any drinking or drugs involved? He does have a weapon. I Officers eventually found Thompson inside a school bathroom intending to arrest him on a domestic assault charge. Thompson stands up. Officers warn him. Then one of the officers says he spots a gun in the student's pocket. A tussle starts right here. You can see that one shot is fired. Investigators say a bullet coming from Thompson's handgun hit a trash can right there in the bathroom. Two more shots are fired this time from Officer Jonathan Claybo's gun. The DA says one hits Thompson. The other hits Officer Adam Wilson. The entire encounter lasted 11 seconds. According to the autopsy, Thompson could not have survived his injuries. So there was not a case to be made, says the DA, for not immediately giving medical aid. And Officer Jonathan Claybo was the only officer to fire his weapon in this case. The DA had this, uh, has said this about her reason for not filing charges. Take a listen. I believe it was reasonable for him to believe that all the other officers in the room uh, were potentially in danger and I believe it was reasonable for him to believe there was potential for uh, him to be shot as well. Anthony Thompson Jr.'s funeral was today. His family asked members of the media to not cover the services, and we honored that request. Thompson's family told us they were upset the video was released yesterday before they had a chance to say their final goodbyes. That was so wrong. So wrong. They didn't have to kill him. They didn't. Please make a change in this community. I do not want another child to be killed. I do not want another mother or father to have to go through this.